So it's almost the end of yet another year, which of course means that every tech YouTuber out there is churning out their usual predictable dollars dishwater best smartphones of 2019 roundup. And while a lot of them have at least included the excellent Huawei P30 Pro, there's been next to no love for its forgotten family member, the original Huawei P30. Like Frank Stallone or Daniel Baldwin, the Huawei P30 has been completely overshadowed by its sibling. But unlike Frank and Danny, the P30 is actually well worth checking out. You may not get the same insane telephoto zoom lens here, while well, some other little cost savings have also been made, but that means you can grab Huawei's handset for just 500 quid these days, which is a flipping bargain. I've been using the P30 on and off throughout 2019, and I've had my personal SIM card stuffed inside of there for just over a week now as well, so I can re-review it and tell you exactly why it's well worth considering, even several, several months after launch. And for more on the latest to greatest tech, please do put subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now first up, returning to the Huawei P30 after the onslaught of mighty 6.5 inch smartphones in 2019 is definitely a refreshing change. I mean sure, don't get me wrong, the Huawei P30 isn't really a compact device, it's still over 6 inches in size, but it certainly feels a lot more compact and easier to manage compared with most of its rivals, and that's definitely helped along by of course those super skinny bezels. Factor in the pleasingly rounded edges and Huawei's excellent one-handed mode, and this dinky delight is very comfortable to use without two mitts. It's also a bit of a stunner. This colour here is called Breathing Crystal for some reason, and while it sounds like something straight out of Avatar, it's undeniably eye-catching. Those patterns thrown off when the light strikes the glossy surface are reminiscent of the northern light streaking across the night sky. Blummin' gorgeous. And the good news is that time hasn't caused those looks to fade either. Here on the back end, completely free of scratches, scuffs, nicks, things like that, still looks nice and fresh. And around the front end, you'll have a screen protector just to help keep the display uh, in fine fettle as well. However, if you do grab the Huawei P30, bear in mind that it's not full on water resistant, it's merely IP53 splash resistant. Now you can always count on Huawei to serve up a gorgeous screen on its smartphones and the P30 definitely doesn't break trend. This 6.1 inch Full HD Plus OLED panel may lack the 90Hz finish of the OnePlus 7T, but it still pumps out crisp and colourful visuals, with only a dinky wee notch intruding on the view. It's an HDR ready display of course, with full support from Netflix and other streaming services, so you can expect natural colours when appropriate. However, you can also play around with the colour temperature and vibrancy to suit your own personal preferences. Sadly, you do not get a stereo speaker set up here on the Huawei P30, it's just a single bottom firing mono blaster instead, but still reasonable powerful for you know just kick it back watching a video in a noisy environment you'll still be able to hear everything nice and clearly and even better this is one of the few flagship quality smartphones that still comes packing a headphone jack huzzah now sadly at the time i shot this video i am still waiting for android 10 and huawei's one emotion ui 10 launcher to get beamed across to the p30 however i have had a play on the p30 pro and it is a great little update freshening up the look and feel of huawei's emotion ui while adding some great new stuff in there including that sleek new dark mode i've already covered emotion UI 10 in my full tour video, so go check that out for an idea of what will be coming to the P30 any day now. And I've certainly got no complaints on the security side of things either. That in-display fingerprint sensor actually appears to have improved over time, so it rarely fails. Either that or I'm simply getting used to the precise finger stroke action required to gain entry. And even quicker than that is the super dependable face recognition as well. Works even when you've got glasses on, you haven't bothered to shave for a few days, the only thing that really fools it is proper sunglasses. And everything else that you'll do on the Huawei P30 is just as nippy as that unlocking motion thanks to the Kira 980 chipset stuffed inside that sexy chassis. It is well over a year old now, but it still smashes through anything you throw its way, even if you're messing about with two apps at once. Games are well catered for by the P30 as well. The likes of PUBG Mobile still plays with a dependable frame rate on those top detail settings, helped along by the likes of Huawei's GPU Turbo feature, which offers a performance boost to a growing selection of mobile games. And of course, you've got that lovely flat display as well, which is perfect for likes of PUBG Mobile with its plethora of on-screen controls. Now the Huawei P30 may not have quite as big a battery as the Pro model, but the 3650 milliamp cell definitely does the job. I found that even if I'm using it full on for sat nav, media streaming, a good bit of camera action, stuff like that all day long, it still usually has about 10 to 15% battery life by the time I stagger into bed. So that battery saver mode is only just starting to beg to be switched on. And suddenly there's no support for wireless charging here, but it is a small sacrifice to bring down that price some more. Now even as 2019 draws to a close, the Huawei P30 still boasts one of the very best smartphone cameras out there. 
Now, 40 megapixel Super Spectrum primary shooter can be relied upon for everyday photos in all kinds of conditions. Shots of people in particular look stunning thanks to the excellent portrait mode, which really brings them to life while washing away the rest of the world. Even though photos are taken at 10 megapixel level by default, you still get sharp results while beaming your memories up to a telly. Poor lighting conditions are also well handled by the Huawei P30 as well. You'll occasionally see some oversaturation in HDR situations, but those darker elements are cleanly captured with plenty of detail. And when the sun does set, you can switch to the ever-dependable night mode to grab a bright, well-balanced shot. You can swap between that main lens and the other viewpoints at any time with a quick tap of these on-screen icons too. The ultra-wide lens can grab some fantastic looking landscapes, while the telephoto lens serves up a 3x optical zoom or up to 5x hybrid zoom using its software smarts to fill in the blanks. And even at that 5 times level, your photos will look crisper than a bag of walkers. Sadly, the P30 isn't quite as strong as some rivals on the video side though. You can shoot up to 4K resolution footage, but only at 30 frames per second. And the image stabilisation isn't quite up there with the best. If you want a much closer look at the Huawei P30's camera tech, some of those special features and the general photo and video quality, then definitely go check out my in-depth review and comparison with the P30 Pro. So as 2019 draws to a close, I'd once again like to pledge my support for this forgotten phone the Huawei P30. At 500 quid, it's a solid all-rounder that still packs one of the best cameras of the year. If you fancy something a bit more compact than the OnePlus 7T, then definitely give it a look. So are you a proud Huawei P30 owner and what do you think of it so far? Maybe you're tempted to jump on board now it's reduced in price. The OnePlus 7T does offer a little bit more in terms of the display tech and the performance, but frankly, if you like that compact build and a bit of a motion UI action, you really can't go wrong. So smash your comments down below, poke the crap out of that subscribe button, ding that notifications bell until your hands are bleeding. This is all getting a bit violent. I should just go off and have a nice cup of tea and a lie down, I think. So have yourselves a lovely week, people. Cheers.